What's going on everybody? Hope you are having a blessed day. Today we're going to go over every glitch that will help you out in MLB The Show 21. But if you're new to the channel, drop a like on the video, hit that red subscribe button and turn your notifications on. Roll to 10K. Shout out to all the MVPs. MVPs are people that watch the full video. Leave a comment and drop a like on the video. Don't be a hater your whole life. Drop a like on the video and let's get into today's bang. If you're looking for great gaming services, head on over to AHMLB and make sure you use code FET for 5% off your order. All right, so the first thing you want to do, if you want a team that looks similar to this, no money spent, the first thing you want to do is hit that subscribe button because I'm going to give you market tips, card flipping tips, and when to invest and when to sell. And that's going to make you a lot of stubs. I have made over 1.4 million stubs using this method my first time ever playing MLB The Show 21 on Xbox. And I am doing a great job. I do the exchanges, stub flipping, and the glitches. I've been doing the glitches since the first inning program. So the first glitch we're going to get into is the updated walking method pay attention to the entire video okay for this method you're gonna need two controllers or you can have three controllers but you're gonna need two controllers okay so we're gonna get into the first method you don't have to be in diamond dynasty you want to come down here to exhibition okay so you're gonna pick one team on the left player two is gonna be on the right you're gonna go into the game it don't matter about none of this stuff right here but make sure you are playing at nighttime Nighttime October just helps you be able to hit better. That's a bonus tip for when you plan online if you're trying to get World Series or 40 wins. I'm going to be bringing some ranked gameplay to y'all also because I got to debut a lot of cards. Pick your picture, set your lineup, and get ready to get into the game. Now, this controller is going to be who I'm intentionally walking with. This controller is who I want all the XP to be. So at the end, if you make any changes at all, it's going to say there was changes made. Make sure that you say player one. Pick player one every single time if you get any kind of pop up at the end. OK, now the updated method, what you want to do, you want to hit the ball every seven runs. And another thing, make sure you go to fast play, set your settings so it don't show all this unnecessary cutscenes and it'll go faster. But every 40 runs. With this method that I'm showing you right now, seven runs and then a hit, it will get you 3,800 to 4,000 XP every 40 runs. So if you are one of the ones that like to do 200 runs, 350 runs, 400 runs, you do the math real quick. If 40 runs is almost 4,000 XP, so 200 runs is going to be 40, 80, 120, 160, 200. So four times five is about 19,000 to 20,000 XP every 200 runs. If you go more than that, you better be making sure that your controller do not become inactive. As you can see, both of my lights are on right now. Now, the reason why it's better updated with every seven runs is because your controller don't sit as long, okay? All right, so now we are at seven runs. That's when you wanna make sure both of your controllers are close to you. There's a hit right there. We're going to let the ball go past. Now I'm using this controller. I'm going to send all the runners home all the way until we get to 10 runs. Okay. So there's going to be a guy on third and now we are at 10 runs. So this controller, the one that you want the XP to go on, you don't need it no more all the way until you get up to 20 runs. It's a little slower process, but like I said, every 40 runs is about 4,000 XP. Okay, so there's a hit right there, and we're going to send all the runners home, and then I'm going to exit out. So we're going to make sure we are holding the left button or L1 to advance all runners, and I'm just walking around, running around in the outfield. It don't matter. I'm controlling both teams, okay? And you got to make sure that the servers are working. So go into Diamond Dynasty before you do this, and then back out. Go into Road to Show, see if the servers are up, 
and then go into exhibition so you can be sure that you had a good window. Now, with my controller with the XP, I'm gonna go to exit. So every 40 runs is about 4,000 XP. If you go up to 150, if you go up to 200, you're gonna get between the minimum 16,000 to 20, 21,000 XP. Also, it only takes four minutes to do 40 runs. Right, so method number two is the road to show method. So we're gonna look at my player that I use the most but he has the least amount of speed. The other ones give me more speed. So I'm using the guy with 75 speed, 88 fielding, 90 arm, 101 in higher in every single hitting category and vision. So the first thing you wanna do when you get to the road to the show, you wanna come up here to create and this is the fastest way. You go to vaults, you push R1 or RB, you push roster, okay? And then I'm gonna push X or square. I'm gonna go to sort by downloads. Right there, by downloads, I'm gonna sort it. Now, I'm gonna come down here to Road to the Show, all zeros, choose Rockies. There's a lot of different ones right here, and I do it by download. So the one with the most downloads is probably the most recent and active one, okay? So we're gonna do that one. We're gonna download it. I already got it downloaded. You're gonna save it under whatever file you want it to be saved under. We're gonna come in, we're gonna start new right now together. Set up a ball player. We're gonna use Yo Adrian, okay? So I'm gonna go through it with you. So we're gonna go to Yo Adrian. I'm gonna come over here to activate. I'm gonna activate Yo Adrian, okay? So he's gonna have all my perks. So if you're doing all golds and you're not seeing the same results as I am, go out there, spend seven to 8,000, get you all golds and one diamond. That will help you out when you are elevating your guy. So now we got the loadout all done. We're gonna come back out and it's gonna say, use current rosters, use default rosters, use save rosters. Remember, you are going to the Colorado Rockies. Load save rosters, and we're gonna go to the one that you just saved, okay? So XP2, I'm gonna load that up. XP2 is what I saved it under. Whatever you just saved it under 30 seconds ago, that's the one you wanna load up. It's gonna go through all of the cutscenes you're gonna choose the Rockies, okay? So on one, Detroit Tigers, American League, the Rockies is National League. Say, have you been talking to any particular team? There's one team I've heard from more than a couple times, the Dodgers. No, it's the National League West Rivals. Now, yours might pop up a little different, but you want National League West. So we're gonna go to National League West, and at the top, it say, I want to play for Colorado. Now you are drafted at Colorado with all your stats. If you have already grinded this up, this is gonna help you do your gold, your Adrian. You're gonna get diamond perks, diamond equipment, stubs, and XP throughout it, okay? So, you're gonna wait, go through the cutscene, you're gonna get the phone call, there's gonna be a glass of water and a cell phone on the table, and all that blah, blah, blah. I catch up to y'all when we get past this part. All right, so Colorado is calling right there on the phone. So now we are on the Colorado Rockies. The roster is all updated and the glitch is effective. The club is intrigued by your potential as a two-way player. You mean pitching and position play? Boom. They ask some questions, you give answers. We're not gonna force anything on you. Do you have any field positions in mind? Make sure you select the correct stuff. Somewhere in the infield. Now when you go to the infield, if you wanna do it the fastest way, you wanna get done with all these in 35 to 45 minutes, Pick first base. You're gonna get way more putouts. Everybody from the outfield to the infield has to throw the ball to you. Okay, so you're gonna get all the hits, you're gonna get all the putouts and all the assists. Now, if you get in there and you don't see your progress starting to add up, just get out, go into Diamond Dynasty. Put your player in his position. You might have to push right trigger or R2 a couple times because he's only a 65 overall. So you might have to go through four or five pages to get to him, put him in his right position, then go back and it should start tracking. If not, then you just play one game against the CPU with your guy at the top of the lineup, hit the ball or bunt the ball. And once he gets unbased or he gets thrown out, you have to wait for the animation to play through. Then you can quit out of that game and then you come back in and that should help you out. So you gotta play the game right here. We're gonna go to my loadout right here, the gold one that I'm showing you for this video. All right, so once we get on the field, then you can skip all this. You don't have to worry about the cutscenes, and you can just push B or O and skip, and then you go right here. Exit, simulate and exit, and you all set up. Now you can push skip, and you should be winning 18 to zero, 
15 to 0, and sometimes 135 to 1, 250 to 1, 250 to 5. Now, if you go to Road to Show Settings and set all this up where you can skip through all this blah blah blah, as you can see, 44 to 1. So that lets you know this is the right roster, this is the right glitch, and you will be seeing the crazy stuff 200 to 0. 250 to 1 where you're gonna be just rolling around through one single inning going into the negative and that's normal but if y'all enjoyed the video drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel hit that red subscribe button turn your notifications on become part of the MVPs watch every full video show me some love follow me on Twitter follow me on Instagram all the links above and I got you